Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Welcome to Arizona, welcome to my new home, my new background, my new office. I am loving, loving not only Arizona, but our new home and how my office came together. So let me know down in the comments, what do you think of my new background? Do you feel like the lighting is good? I am sitting in front of a window utilizing the natural light because it is sunny most days of the year here. I have lots and lots of natural light in my office. So let me know down in the comments what you think of my new background. Also stay tuned in the future for a home tour. We are still kind of putting things together, unpacking, putting pictures on the wall. We had quite a few things we needed to purchase to finish off our home, but stay tuned in the future for a home tour. If you are excited for Friday weigh-in, it's been a couple of weeks, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I upload a Friday weigh-in every single week week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly, highly recommend as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you would like to chat with me directly links, discounts to all of my favorite things and my Facebook group, definitely coming over and join us there. That's kind of how you keep up with me more day to day. And it's just a really great supportive community that is linked in the description box as well. So let's jump into my weigh-in for the last two weeks including traveling from Washington to Arizona, moving, settling in. Let's talk all about my weigh-in. We'll discuss the WW workshop topic, set some goals, and get ourselves ready for a successful next week. missed you guys. I have missed filming. I did vlog our trip from Washington to Arizona. I still need to edit that. That will most likely be up this Sunday. So if you want to see our travel vlog, what I ate along the way, how the three day road trip with three dogs, a U-Haul, pulling a car, my best friend driving another car, it was like the clampets for the three day trip. If you want to see that vlog, stay tuned for Sunday. So make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on so you're notified when that video is posted. It was a long three days. I'm not going to lie. It was a long three days of driving. I will say that our dogs did so well. Better than I could have ever thought our dogs would do. Diesel and Lola rode with me in my car and they were perfect angels. They pretty much slept most of the way. Rachel, my best friend, didn't have a dog with her. She just drove one of our extra cars loaded with items. And then my husband took Palmer in the U-Haul and he said Palmer was fantastic. He also just slept most of the way. Lucky for us, all three of our dogs do so well in the car, which is a huge blessing when you're driving for three days and traveling almost 16 hundred miles. Now I did pack quite a few snacks for myself, but we did eat all of our meals out. So in that vlog, you'll see what I chose for meals. I got my water in. I pretty much drank water the entire three day road trip along with just coffee in the morning. And then I stuck with water so that I was able to kind of flush out the fast food or the eating out as well as all the added sodium in those foods by making sure that I'm getting in enough water. We also had to eat out for almost a solid week after we moved into our house house because we didn't have groceries and we weren't unpacked to be able to cook in our home. In fact, last night was the first night that I actually made dinner in our new home, which was really, really exciting. I have a beautiful gourmet kitchen. It is one of my favorite things about this house. Definitely stay tuned for the home tour and you'll see it in meal preps and grocery hauls and things like that as well. Speaking of grocery hauls, tomorrow I have a huge grocery haul. Massive, massive haul where we had to buy all the groceries we need for the next couple of weeks as well as my big massive Costco monthly stock up haul. So stay tuned for that. I am finally back to filming videos regularly so you will get my five videos a week. So overall, everything went really smoothly. I will say, I will say that I got a rock chip in the windshield of my car, which has now spread and created a crack almost halfway across the windshield of my car. So that is one thing that I have to get taken care of once we get settled into our house. And I'm also having a gentleman come out next Saturday and detailing my car because it's just dirty. And there's dog hair from the travel. Even though we covered everything with blankets and sheets, the dog hair still gets into nooks and crannies and onto the carpet. So I have him coming out this next week, this next Saturday, to do a full detail on my car. And he's a mobile detailer. So he'll just come to my home, which 
makes it even better. I also have quite a bit of shopping to do at places like TJ Maxx and Ross, Home Goods, so I'll take you guys along with me for Wednesdays What I Eat in a Day, so stay tuned for that for lots of good food as well as a little shopping, a little shopping haul, lots of good things coming your way in the form of videos. Again, overall I feel like I did really well with traveling. I mean, yes, I ate out, I just really watched my portions and I tried to choose the healthiest option or the most well-balanced option that I could find while we were traveling. I focused on my water, which I think was huge for not feeling bloated and not having the scale spike because of the fast food and the extra sodium. My goal moving into this next week is to just get back to normal life. Once we get unpacked and settled, which we're there, we're about that far, I would say 90% settled into our new home. We've made several Goodwill runs because we had decor that just didn't match with what we were going for here. In our old home, we had a lot of rustic and lodge decor, if you remember, in previous vlogs and videos. We decided to veer away from that and go more with the Arizona vibe, kind of like the orange dress that I have on today, just going more with that Southwest-ish Arizona vibe in our decor. So we took a lot of our old stuff to Goodwill and we're purchasing some things that go better with the aesthetic of our new home. We have had people in and out of this house for the last week. I'll share a total update with you guys in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day video, so stay tuned for that. Before we jump into my two-week weigh-in, since I didn't have a weigh-in video last Friday, let's talk about this week's WW Workshop topic because number one, it's a good one, and number two, this is a question I get all the time as a weight loss and nutrition coach. And that is how to actually achieve the goals that you set. It's one thing to set goals, but it's a whole nother ball game to actually achieve them. It's no surprise, and in fact, it's human nature that the closer we get to our goals, the more likely we are to actually achieve them. So if the goal that you've set for yourself or the goals that you've set seem like they're going to take for ever to achieve, you may want to reevaluate that big picture goal into a little bit smaller goals. Maybe your goal is to do 50 push-ups, and that may seem really daunting to you because maybe you're like me and you can barely do 10 push-ups. So to set a goal of 50 push-ups can be really overwhelming. It's that big number that seems daunting and it feels like it's going to take forever to achieve it. So instead of focusing on that big 50 push-up goal, how about breaking that down into smaller segments so that you can more easily achieve these goals, feel more confident about your overall goal. And remember, as you achieve these small little steps, you're overall achieving that big picture goal. How about starting with five push-ups, and then once you have five push-ups done, up it to 10, 15, 20, and like I said, eventually you'll end up at your big goal of 50 push-ups. Once you've done those five push-ups, you're feeling pretty good. You're feeling pretty confident and bumping up to 10 push-ups, and so on and so forth. What as we achieve goals, our confidence in that goal boosts. And that is really, really important for sticking with long-term goals. We can define this as the goal gradient effect. The closer we get to a goal, the harder we'll try to achieve it. And this is just human nature. The closer we get to that big picture goal, the more excited we are and the bigger the push that we have to get there. No matter what your goal is, big picture goal, break it down into smaller steps. This will keep you motivated and you'll actually be able to achieve the goals that you set out. Nothing is more frustrating than never achieving the goal or feeling like it's going to take forever to get to even the smallest big picture goal. Move those goal posts closer and closer so that you'll actually get to the end goal and you'll be motivated to continue to do so. I really like this topic. This is something I really thought about when I started my weight loss journey, knowing that I had well over 100 pounds to lose. That's a pretty big daunting goal. So for me, it was easier to break that into smaller segments, weekly goals, monthly goals, even quarterly goals that will help me eventually get to that over 100 pounds lost. And if you follow my channel, you know that as of my last weigh-in two weeks ago, I was down 94 pounds. So that's a great segue into my weigh-in. So as of two weeks ago, before I started moving, I was 94 pounds down. I didn't weigh in last Friday because my scale was packed and we actually were unloading our U-Haul last Friday, as you'll see in my moving vlog on Sunday. So it just wasn't a possibility for me to weigh or film a video. So my weigh-in this week is actually for the last two weeks of travel and moving into a new home and I am down 3.4 pounds. 3.4 pounds over the last two weeks while traveling 
while moving. It is just proof that you can have big life changes that throw off your normal food, your eating schedule, your routine, and if you stick with it, you can still reach that small goal, which gets you closer to that big goal. So I couldn't be more happy that I'm down 3.4 pounds while moving and while I'm packing and while eating out that entire time. So that puts me at 97.4 pounds. My goal is to hit 100 pounds lost in the month of April. I've been getting a lot of questions. What's your goal weight? How much more do you want to lose? And at this point, I don't have an answer for you. I actually go to see my doctor mid-April for blood work to make sure that my thyroid is functioning better with the medication. And her and I will discuss my weight loss goal and how much more weight that I want to lose at that point. And I'll update you guys in a future weigh-in video. But as of right now, I don't know what my goal weight is and I don't know how much more weight I want to lose, but I will tell you that I do have more weight that I would want to lose above that 100 pounds lost. So now I wanna hear from you guys. I wanna hear how you've been doing the last couple of weeks. What have been your last two weigh-ins? What goals do you have, big picture, small goals? Tell me everything down in the comments. I've really missed you guys and I've missed filming so much. It was a huge priority to get my office put together so that I could get back to filming videos for you guys. So definitely let me know all the things down in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, and don't forget to ring your bell so you never miss a future video. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching. I am taking new clients. I am scheduling one-on-one -on -one sessions and doing macros, especially now that we're settled. I am back to doing my nutrition coaching. And don't forget to come on over, join us on Facebook. We would love to have you. Welcome to Arizona. Happy Friday. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.